Welcome to the Know Before They Grow podcast. Today, we have a special guest, DNA Relationship Testing Consultant Josh Kinsha from IDTO DNA Testing Center, here to discuss whether DNA testing is mandatory. So, sit back and take notes during this special informational episode. DNA testing, it seems like it's everywhere these days, right? I mean, you see it on those Ancestry websites and all those true crime shows. And it's only getting more common. Kind of makes you wonder, where's the line? Is it going to be like mandatory for everybody someday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we're going to. Well, that's what we're diving into today. Getting some clarity on DNA testing, what's required, what's not. We're looking at a text all about understanding DNA testing and all the options and requirements. And well, we've got an expert here to help us separate fact from fiction. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's really interesting to think about, you know, all the possibilities with DNA technology, but also some of the big questions that come with it. Exactly. So let's just jump right in. I think the biggest question on a lot of people's minds is, you know, mandatory DNA testing at birth. Are we living in that Gattaca world yet? Thankfully, no, not even close. There is no law right now in the U.S. that requires DNA testing for newborns. You know, you still have a right to privacy when it comes to your own DNA. That's good to hear. Um, what about those court-ordered tests you sometimes hear about? I feel like that's a bit of a gray area for a lot of people. For sure. That's definitely the exception, not the rule. Those usually happen in very specific situations. Like, let's say there's a custody battle going on and parentage is uncertain. So in that case, a judge might order a DNA test to make sure the legal decisions, you know, about custody or child support are based on uh, accurate information. So it's not about building some kind of government database. It's more about using it in those specific legal cases. Okay, so mandatory testing at birth, not a thing. And we've talked about how widespread testing isn't happening, but what about mandatory testing for everyone in the U.S.? Not just newborns, but like everyone. Have there even been discussions about that? Yeah, you know, there have been some discussions about potential laws, particularly around, you know, paternity, like legally establishing fatherhood. But right now, like as we're talking, no state has actually made testing mandatory across the board. Huh. It really makes you think about that balance, you know, individual privacy versus the benefits maybe for society. Right? Oh, absolutely. And those ethical debates, those are only going to get more and more complicated as this technology keeps advancing. Definitely. Let's move on to another one that I think causes confusion, immigration. A lot of people want to know, is DNA testing automatic when you're dealing with USCIS? So it's not a requirement. It's definitely an option that USCIS offers, Definitely. but they don't require it. OK, so why even offer it if it's not mandatory? What's the reasoning there? Well, it can be really helpful in certain situations. You know, imagine somebody's trying to immigrate to the U.S. to be with their family. Right. But maybe for whatever reason, they don't have like the usual documentation. Mm -hmm. So in a case like that, DNA testing can actually help verify those biological relationships, you know, help families reunite when paperwork alone can't really tell the whole story. So it's about like giving people options, especially when you're dealing with like those complicated situations. Exactly. And it's worth pointing out that the way USCIS does DNA testing, it's really focused on accuracy. You know, they only use labs that are accredited mm -hmm. and they really stress a clear chain of custody throughout the whole process. And all that's to make sure the results are reliable. Gotcha. So after all that, I think the big takeaway is you really do have more control over your DNA information than you might think. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Well, this has been uh, a really fascinating deep dive. Learned a lot. We've busted some myths about DNA testing and hopefully cleared up some of that confusion. And of course, what we talked about a lot today, it's always a good idea to talk to a legal expert if you have specific questions. Oh, yeah, for sure. They can give you advice that's tailored for you. Makes sense. It really makes you think, though. You know, even though mandatory testing isn't happening right now, at least not yet, this whole conversation about ethics, about privacy, all this genetic technology, it's not going away anytime soon. Just makes you wonder what's next. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Know Before They Grow podcast. Please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you need reliable DNA relationship testing services, don't hesitate to contact IDTO at 88-820-40583 or click the link in the description to visit them online today. Thank you for listening. Take care. Remember, it's better to know before they grow.